welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to give you a spring update on my catacetum orchids. They are, right now, they're in three different phases. They are not uh, coming out of dormancy together, but there are about a third of them that are still going dormant and haven't lost their leaves. Those are the ones on the left. The ones in the middle have come out of dormancy and are starting to grow, and those I need to repot. And then the one on the right is the orchid that came out of dormancy first. As you can see, it's pushing out a pretty significant growth. And um, I repotted it only two months ago. So I'm gonna show you progress on that orchid and then talk through what I'm gonna be doing with the first uh, few orchids that are, have still not gone dormant and the ones that are coming out of dormancy. So let me take you a little bit closer. So these five orchids over here are still dormant. Some of them still have their leaves. These are gonna fall off at some point. Uh, maybe they'll stay on, but we'll see. Uh, so these orchids have not been getting regular water. I don't fertilize or water them unless the bulbs are getting excessively shriveled. So this is a little bit more shriveled than I would like. So I will probably uh, run some water through these. And the um, this is super crunchy, super dry. Maybe the last time I gave it a drink of water was maybe three, four weeks ago. I only give water when I see that the bulbs are excessively dry. Uh, folks who live in a very high humidity environment don't typically have this problem, but if you grow indoors and you're noticing some ridges over here, you can give a quick little drink. Do not soak it. Just pour some water, let it flow through, and it'll pump these bulbs back up. So that's what I plan to do with these orchids. They'll be fine, um, provided they don't have new growths coming in. That's when you wanna be careful with the water. You don't wanna rot the new growth. But I'm gonna give these guys a quick little drink, like a trickle through the pot. That'll be enough to plump these bulbs up. Again, if you have high humidity, you don't have to worry about it. And then just take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Like you don't have to if your bulbs are plump, like this one over here, I'm probably not gonna give it anything because this one looks pretty good. But uh, this one, I probably will. This one has some wrinkling. This one, I'll probably leave alone. It doesn't look too bad. Um, so you play it by ear. I expect these orchids to come out of dormancy um, in the next two months or so. So far, there's no growths here yet, but ideally they all come out of dormancy in the spring, but these uh, complex catacetum types, they have a mind of their own, so they don't always come out of dormancy together. Let me show you a couple of orchids next that have actually come out of dormancy. So I've got a lot to do here. So let me actually take you a little bit closer. As you can see, these orchids are starting to grow some of their uh, new uh, growths coming in. They've already lost their leaves they are going to need a repot immediately so i'm going to do that after this video i'll probably take care of it today but these are going to start taking off very quickly i'll put a link down below where i repotted uh, one of my orchids that came out of dormancy first so you can see it this one has actually already been repotted so what we're looking for here is for the roots to get between three and four inches i typically wait even longer but I repotted this about a month ago. It's not getting any water whatsoever. And when I repot, I actually do cut the old roots off. This back bulb is getting pretty shriveled, but I'm just gonna monitor and wait for these roots to get longer before I do anything. So this will be fine. I repot with um, sphagnum moss and slow release fertilizer since these grow really fast. So I am going to be repotting all of these. Um, this is the one that was broken. I'm gonna hold on to it and see if it shoots out a node, rather a new growth out of a node. But that's where I'm at with my catacetum types. These all have some new growths sprouting at some point. This one actually had a growth when I got it that was growing in the, when it was supposed to go dormant. So I stopped watering it and it just went dormant on its own. And here is the new growth. So my fear is if I kept watering it while this was in active growth, I was going to rot it since it was such a new little growth. So I just stopped, it lost its leaves and it was totally fine. All right, let me take you on the final update. So this uh, is my Munyarara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. And this orchid has 
was my first orchid actually to come out of dormancy. As you can see, it's growing really quickly. So I repotted this orchid in the beginning of January. It was right after the holiday time, two months ago. Today is March 12th, 2021. I repotted this in January. I'll put the date down below so you could see. But check out how substantial that growth is. So this is really why you have to repot very quickly. Once they start growing, they really, really take off. So this is only two months of growth. So I'm watering this pretty regularly. I'll say I wish I put some packing peanuts down here because this stays wetter than I would like. But this orchid has <laughs> taken off. The bottom is just, it's just full of roots. So this orchid I water abundantly now since it is just throwing out crazy roots. It's actually branching um, and doing really well. So this is why you have to use slow release fertilizer with these guys. When they start, they literally do not stop. So as you can see all of these orchids over here, they look like nothing when they're in dormancy, but when they're in active growth, they just blow up and uh, they get big very, very quickly. So this is why they, they are heavy feeders. This is why we give slow release fertilizer to them. We wanna make sure that when they're growing quickly, they get the nutrients that they need and they really take off. So I'd say in about two months, these orchids in the middle that have growths coming in, they probably are going to rival the Monurara Millennium Magic to the right. The ones on the left are probably going to start coming out of dormancy between um, April and May. I'm sure we'll start seeing some new growth soon. But as you get these orchids, you just really, if you buy them dormant, just make sure you have room for them because they can get pretty big very, very quickly. And then, of course, when the weather starts cooling down, they drop their leaves and then you have room for them again. <laughs> so anyhow, wanted to give you guys a quick update here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more orchid uh, content. I do post regular updates on these so you can follow along. And catacetum orchids are some of my favorite orchids and they are pretty misunderstood. I do find them very easy to grow once you uh, recognize and understand their growth pattern. They are extremely rewarding, definitely very fragrant orchids at times. And um, if you haven't tried them, definitely give them a shot. They are fantastic. Anyhow, I hope everyone has a good day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.